Hello everybody and welcome back to this war of mine against all odds. Goodbye Franco, where there is no trader that comes every single day and there are so many additional things that have been added to make things difficult for us. We've got two people here. We've got Anton who joined very much later on and we have got Pavel who is currently hungry, sad and tired. I'm going to let you grab some proper meds Anton and... Um, I feel like, do I have the water today? I do not have any water at all. That is a problem, but we shall see. I don't have much of anything, really. So we're going to just kind of chill and let this um, let ourselves go as far as we can here, which is nice. Very nice. You're starting to feel better, which is good. Um, our things... Yeah, there's not much else to do. I'm reaching a point now where I'm pretty stable, although there are obvious problems that can go forward. I've managed to gather quite a bit of medicine. Not medicine? Why am I scrolling over this? I have got a decent amount of medicine, but I've also got a decent amount of food. So the main thing in this game is that I obviously I said there's no trader, but the things that are extra difficult are there are raids. The it's hard to get people back up from these lower number, these lower conditions. Um, the locations are all a bit harder and a bit iffier. Um, I mean, one of the locations I got caught picking a lock, and now they will attack on sight and chase me off, which kind of makes sense. But yeah, and in general, the entire point of this is just to make this a real challenge. There are lots of other challenges that I will be completing as I go forward, and it will be a nice uh, time to kind of see how this is all going. But for now, we are focusing on this first one, and we've lost two people already. Bruno left, and Catcher unfortunately died. But yes, it was made by um, something all nights. Keep... Uh, stay all nights or something. I think I... Um, I've mentioned it in earlier videos, and it is very, very clear if you can't type in against all odds in the workshop for this war of mine, and you'll find it. Just keep an eye to see if anyone comes to the day. If you're enjoying any of these videos, please do like, subscribe, and all those lovely little things that you get to do on the YouTube videos, and I will see you uh, for the rest of this. Sorry, I just got into my ha ha head there of doing the ending of the, of the video. Cool. Uh, these two are doing all right. Um, I feel like I should send Pavel out again to try and see what there is. If I have a look around, I'm going to see. Can't get there due to fighting. Can't get there due to fighting. Nice. So all of this is due to fighting, which is good. Oh, the shelled cottage is now gone. It's just completely destroyed by shell shelling, which is interesting, to say the least. Um, maybe it's worth going back to the construction site. No, there weren't any parts there. Maybe there's some parts at the music club, or... This place, they hate me. Um, the warehouse probably has some stuff. But I'm just worried that warehouse is kind of a bit of a, it's a scary one, to be honest. Um, maybe I'll take the knife with me just to be safe. And the pistol. And some bullets. I feel like this is the way to go. I'm just going to... I don't really want to take anyone out because I know specifically that this is bad for... Um, it just You get the negative impacts no matter who it is. But I think that this is our best place to go, and it's one of the few remaining places I can actually go to right now. So we're going to have to deal with it. There may be some good things, but uh, they've seen some armed individuals here. Yeah, I'm expecting there to be problems. We'll grab that. I kind of just want parts, like the mechanical parts, because that will give me enough to make um, some extra bits and pieces. <sighs> I don't know, it just seems to be the one thing that's blocking me at the moment. If I got a load of those, I'd be able to kind of deal with it. Yeah, we've got the same people here. Oh. Accidentally clicked a bit wildly there. That's good. We're picking up everything that we need to pick up early on. Good. We've managed to do this. I'm going to pull away this just so I have a quick exit if I need to. Parvel's ability to run away is very, very good. Nice. Good. We kind of just want... I don't really want to uh, get attack anyone or kill anyone here. I just kind of want to get some good stuff. There's definitely a few good areas I could get to. I could probably, if I'm sneaky, get to the kitchen. Grab all the food and go. I was about to say, this... Wait, have these... No, I was about to say, these guys have changed um, what they're talking about. Oh, no, they haven't. There's the humanity and aid thing. To prove that these guys are genuinely dickheads. So there's no real... There's no grief about hurting them, but I'm not going to. Because I feel like for these kinds of guys, it's just not good. And these guys could be quite hardy people. I'd probably need Roman in order to take these guys out. And that's good. We're going to keep ourselves moving, which is good. Nice. Let's close this behind us. We don't want to get caught in that regard. And we're going to quickly go and grab this here. Good, we'll grab that and then we'll keep ourselves moving. Oh no, don't run, don't run, don't run. Okay, good. I doesn't think that person saw, which is good. I'll take that. That's always worthwhile. And I'm going to look out here. 
I'm going to see what's going on. Need to be careful not to double click anywhere. Double clicking means sprinting. <sighs> I kind of want to get to the food if I'm honest. That would be my target. But this guy needs to move if I'm going to do that. Where are you heading to? You going up the ladder? Oh no, you're going there. Nice. Going to close that and then we're going to hide in here. Which is good. Okay, you go and hide there. That's perfect. We went a bit all over the place there. I kind of want to just get to the point where I'm going to get... No, nothing there. Okay, can I run? Okay, good. Keep moving, 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 and hide. Nice. Good. This is it. We're just mostly going stealth. You're, you're saying if you're wondering there's something next to the fridge. You are literally standing next to it. Um, There's going to be some... I feel like the main parts I want are over there. I've got myself a lockpick, so I can get over the top, maybe, and then on this side I should be able to get the parts I need. I'm kind of going to jump out here and have a look. Uh, I'll grab that and then we need to go up here. Okay, run. There's no one here to here. Go oh, no, down, 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 down. And just walk, 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 walk. There's no noise. Don't be silly. There was no noise. We're just going to go and hide in here now. I've also realised that we're halfway through the evening now, which is a bit of an interesting one. I don't think you can hear anything. Yep, there's no noise. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. It's absolutely fine. The fact that this guy down here exists is not none of my business as well. Yeah, it most definitely was a rat. Please go out the front door. I was worried that this guy's going to go up. Hmm. Yep, he's going up. We're in a bit of a tough situation. Are you going to keep moving your route? Please continue. Good. Go. Go. Nice. Okay, we're going to be as stealthy as possible now. Nice. I want to get to here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice. Good. We are as protected as we can be. I think this guy goes back and forth to the fridge, so I may be able to sneak in and grab some stuff before he, while he's doing this back and forth thing. I'm hoping that he eats, closes this, and then goes back this way. Meaning I can sneak back this way. Come on. You gonna move? Please move. I've got not much time left. Time is ticking away. Move. Move. I'm I'm willing. Mmm, you're going this way. Okay, that's not what I was expecting. That gives me a bit more freedom. Yep, you go into that other room. Nice. Why did you do that? Come on. Let's grab everything we can and then just do a run for the exit. Nice. I grab the water. Water's the one thing that I really do need. Nice, we're just grabbing everything here now. That's what I needed. Those parts are going to be great. This one here as well. I'll grab these electronic parts. Anything on the balcony? That's close. Can I go up here this way? I can. Nice. Didn't realise that that was a method if I go through that room. Um, can't grab anything there. Nothing of use. I think there is an exit out the back so I can climb over and go that way. As the long term plan. I'm in a bit of a good situation here now. Knowing that that's over there is very helpful. Oh God, I don't need any of that. I'm not going to risk going through this door. We're going to just climb over the top and see if we can grab anything on the other side. Let's go. Run, 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 run. And drop down. Uh, you thought I fled, did you? Did I? Um, well, that seems surprising. I'll grab that too. You better go check, should you? Yeah, that's fine. You go check. I don't think you're going to get around here in time. Especially considering the outway. Outdoors is there. <clears throat> Sorry. After talking for so long and recording a lot of these, my, th my throat is particularly bad. Hello. You, yeah, you just stay there. Sun's rising, you got to move. Just want to see if there's anything in here. Nope, there isn't. We're going to go this way then. Goodbye. Oh, I kind of want to see if there's anything in here. There's, there's normally something in here. Yeah, I can grab this. Good. And then we will then run for the exit. Yeah, I'll grab that. Off we go. Bye-bye. See ya. I didn't even realise I was there. Very, very good. Very, very good indeed. Back home for day 27. I really have no idea how long this is going to be, this entire series. Um, got a load of good stuff. Why are you feeling depressed? Okay, so it seems as if you got upset because of that anyway. That's annoying. Oh, is it the very hungry thing? Um, okay, we do have... 
decent amount of food now, so we should be able to go over here and actually cook. If I do... Ooh, no, I can just make one of those. Let's both get ourselves back up to the normal level. If we can get ourselves back up to good, then that should be fine. We're both very hungry, should have eaten yesterday, but we didn't really have the water to do so. So today we're eating. Which is good. Uh, nice, let's grab all of that. I feel like we're doing alright, these two guys. It'd be nice to grab another person at some point, if we could. Yeah, let's eat some of this. This is good. We're going to grab two of these. One of those is done. And another one should get us back up to regular hunger. No, no, just get us back up to regular. Which is good. Now I think that we can chat. Then you'll cook for uh, Anton and then it can be just nice and sorted. wonder if we'll get anyone today. I'm enjoying it when we get the little extra bits and pieces from actual people. But I know it's not necessarily the, um, the way it should work. Because in this one, we don't get anything special. We just get more and more hurt from as much as we can do. So this is good. I feel like you're doing alright. We get we're, we're sorting this out and you're talking. I'm hoping that you can make things better. There seems to be a longer conversation happening this time, which is obviously a good sign. We can kind of go from there, yeah? Okay, good. It just is the same repeated action over and over again, which always confuses me. Is that it? Are we still going? I feel like we're still going. Hmm. There seems to be a bit more of a movement down. Let's go for there. How did that do? Oh, you did go to sad. That's good. Uh, we need to make... Oh, we can make one of those. I could really do with getting something to produce water. I need one more thing. But also, in the winter, it's going to be mostly melting snow for it. So I feel like I'm fine. I just need to make sure I'm getting enough filters for it. Nice. Getting plenty of fertilizer, and then you can go and eat, which should be very, very helpful. Does mean I need to pay attention to that, so you're now going to be off by a couple of days for when you want to eat compared to the other guys. But you know you're tired, you should also be sleeping, and then we can kind of leave it there for the day. Anton should kind of stick here and probably guard from now on, while we go out, and I'm not sure quite what we do now. Good. We have a look around. Some of these places are updated. Maybe I should just go back to the supermarket. I was about to say the warehouse, I don't think they realised I was there. The construction site was interesting. I could maybe go to the construction site, actually. Yeah, let's go to the construction site and you should be guarding. Good. Um, there's no food there. It says there's food at the supermarket. You know what, let's go and see what we can get at the supermarket. Just scavenge. I don't think there was anything, but it's worth getting some and I think there could be some more water like upstairs so that's something that we can play and look at don't need those just hate that those exist to be honest let's go uh, up the top I like the ammo stuff is nothing never something that I really thought about before it's nothing that I've lent into in this game um, I don't want that then I literally I'm saying that I don't want that sort of stuff but that's fine okay we're gonna have to go all the way over to the ladder and then go onto the roof because I think that's probably that's what we need that's what I'm telling about, and literally as we get it, we're going to be told, oh no, this can't be enough. Oh, what was I going to say? Now we're going to be like, oh, now it's winter, you don't need the stuff that you've just looked for so long. Um, I keep taking the things I don't want to take and all this sort of stuff. Let's check this basement. I thought I took everything, but might as well double check. Um, yep, I'm going to give you this back. I'm definitely not upgrading my, um, my herbal workshop. In this, I don't think that, that I have the materials for that, but we shall see. This does just genuinely does feel like hard mode, this war of mine. Like, it doesn't change the game so co completely that I'm there like, oh, I have no idea what's going on. But it does change it enough that I'm thinking, oh, I now need to think and do a bit more everything in that sort of way. Which, in my opinion, is the best kind of um, overhaul mod. Let's check in this pile. I feel like these piles are the ones I may sometimes, like, scooch over. Uh, coffee, no, don't need that. Unfortunately, Catcher is no longer with us, so we're not going to need that. And there's just some tobacco. That's fine. Oh, I'm annoyed that my method was... I, I got a bit... What's the word? Cocky, maybe, with the... When we were doing the semi-detached house. I got a bit cocky with how I was doing that trade and picking up stuff and trying to trade again. Should have not gone and unlocked that door. That just was not a benefit to me in any way, shape or form. But, you know how that works. I'm hoping to see some more water up top, because the water is my only issue right now. 
During the winter, it'll be fine and I can make loads of it. I've got plenty of components to do that with. But, yep, uh, one grab that, grab that, good, keep running. There's a good amount of piles up here, so maybe there'll be some water I can gather. Um, grab that, wood. I feel like I've been grabbing, like, wood and components for a little bit now, more so than I was thinking I would. Ah, there's some, there's what it was talking about in terms of the food. Found some carrots on the roof, of course that's where you want your carrots to be. Hopefully they're in a packet or something. That would be worrying if they're not. Now we've made it all the way here. I can then jump down onto this to get this pile. Ah, nice. Another thing. Uh, and some water. That's good. And uh, drop this for water, which is good. I'm happy with that. Maybe there's a little bit more water here as well. If not, we'll probably have to head home. I'm surprised that there's meat also on the, food, on the f roof. I'll take that, which is good. And then we can run to the exit. Good, productive day, Parvel. Well done. We have plenty of food now to look at it, but there's one thing also, unlike the normal game, you have to be a bit careful about eating raw food because it can give you food poisoning, which is not good. So we have to be careful about the whole thing. And now it is winter. As if by magic, as if we were prepared for that, it is winter. We've been raided as well, and you are severely, severely ill. Fair enough. Maybe I wasn't looking after things well enough. Um, what was I going to do? I was about to say, for this I need, we've got some of this, we need filters and we need snow. Let's go and make some filters. You can go and I think ugh, you're not particularly ready for it, are you? Let's make a couple of these. Look at look how much of this I have. Especially if I'm, if I'm curious, how much does it take? Let's do that. I was about to say, because then I can make an upgraded heater. Um, you're hungry kind of feel like I want you to eat. So let's let you eat and then we can move on from there. You being sad isn't great. You're both kind of sad, but that makes sense in this kind of scenario. Um, yeah, you can use the final piece to get you back up to regular. That means you're one day ahead of um, of Parvel, but that's absolutely fine. We can kind of keep ourselves going in that way. I then just need to make a whole load of fuel if I can. So you beat that up and you can then be on the f on fuel duty. And then we can kind of keep ourselves moving from there. How much fuel do we make? Um, actually, in a weird way, I kind of want to make a hatchet first. So while he's building that, we'll make a hatchet and then we can kind of move on from there. The reason I wanted to build this is because I then think I could upgrade the heater. And I think that is going to be a real big boost for us. The reason he's severely ill is I forgot to put the heater on, really. So I'm happy with that. Let's make a hatchet if we can. Can we make one? I was about to say, no, we need more parts. That's annoying. Okay, you can head to bed then. We're just going to have to deal with what we have already in terms of fuel and stuff. But that shouldn't be too bad. I kind of want to upgrade this as quickly as possible. It may be that I don't have enough materials, but it may also be that I do. Come on. Pavel, you're taking your time here. I suppose the main thing is just by the end of the day. So, hmm. Could be worse. And there's somebody at the door who I think is someone who wants to stay here. Is that somebody? Is that Livia? Now that's a bold person to take in, but I think it could be helpful to have someone else. Okay, we've done that. Now let's go and talk to them. That looks like Livia, who is pregnant in the middle of a war zone. Hello. This Livia? It is. Yep, you can come in. Which is good. Um, Well, maybe not good. You are pregnant, wounded, and very tired. Okay, you can go and do this. Let's set up some of this. Um, let's do yeah that and then we can use the rest on few fuel we're going to get you looking a lot better by being that and then you can go and sleep oh this is nice I was about to say I've I've only ever had um, I have played with Livia before I think that was when I forgot the final edition turning these into filters is hard work Jesus damn okay I was going to actually quickly see what this needs to upgrade. How much do I need to upgrade this? One sec. I need five parts. Okay, that's not going to be there today. So I should finish this off if I can. Um, yep, we're making them quite quickly. These guys are tired. It's one of these things that I just wish I could deal with. But it's just taking so long to build everything. This is definitely an additional challenge. The time that it takes just makes things a little bit more difficult. I need to make sure I make some fuel just because that is going to be my biggest fight now. 
Yeah, let's make all the fuel I can make and then move on. I feel like that's enough of those. And then let's go to... I'm not using this wood, so we're going to just make six of it there. Which is nice. We're going to put that all in the fire. We should keep us enough warm enough for the first day. I need some more weapon parts to get the um, hatchet. And then I can start to get more thing things as well. Don't know where I'm going to find weapon parts. Maybe go back to the construction site. Some of the top floors may have some extra things in it. I need an extra five parts as well to make the to upgrade the heater. But that's fine. I can do that. Okay, good. She's now just tired, which is good. You're now feeling a bit better as well. I was about to say, can you move? Yeah, you can move a little bit, which means we can do this. Good. Nice. We're going to go and put this on the fire. Which is good. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's good. And then you can run and grab some of this. You should put on another one of those. We've got plenty of raw food now. It's just a question of cooking it. But we're going to work hard on getting that sorted. Which is good. Uh, let's make... Let's go for eight of that. And then... Um, did I tell you to stop? No, Anton. Good. You can come up here. And I think also I want you to make the thing for the electric you want we want a thermoregulator don't we yes we do make one thermoregulator which should be good and then i can upgrade a heater which is nice before the war i'd have been fine in a day or two i know you've we, at least you've had your meds so that's a good start i'm just thinking pa parvel is quite tired so maybe i should be able to let her him sleep tonight should let them all sleep, really, is the problem. Hmm. Weirdly, I'm not going to let Livia sleep. She's going to stay on guard. Which is good. So you can now go with this. And then these two guys can sleep. Although Parvel... Parvel is fine, actually. You know what? I feel like I'm just going to end the day there. We're going to see how it all goes. Uh, we can't get to there due to snow. We can't get to there due to snow. We can get to the... Um, city hospital though on the hotel you know what let's go to the hotel i feel like i can do that you should sleep you should sleep um yeah both of you can sleep oh no i'm gonna make parvel guard i'm just a little bit nervous about this i'm gonna let parvel guard we're gonna stay because if we get raided those two are unable to defend themselves really <sighs> anton is feeling much better good good we are in a situation which is a bit tricky um, I am going to say you should have the meds still. You are slightly sick and very tired. You're going to grab that and then go to bed. The main target today is going to be to be to melt the snow. Because how many of these do we have? We've got three. I just need three more of the stuff as well. Which is good. You should get up. You're slightly wounded now. So you're feeling a bit better. Which is all very good. Nice. Um, you now need to go to bed. Uh, and you can also go to bed. How are you feeling, hungry-wise? You're going to be very hungry tomorrow, I'm guessing. Um, yeah, let's make some fuel. Uh, a little bit of extra fuel for us. Three of that. I feel like we want to then make as much water as we can. Because I could actually cook for everybody, I think. I was about to say, because then I can make four, eight, twelve. And that should be enough to cook for everybody, yeah. Good. This is the plan. There is sense there is sense in my madness, so it should be fine. I've got one more day after this for this episode. Ah, and there's some people at the door. Nice, let's go and talk to them. Oh yeah, you're not a runner, are you, Livia? I forget this. I suppose you are pregnant. But having brought us something is very, very good. Pro hopefully veg, because that can save us a lot of food in the long run. Is it veg? Hello, hello. That's a bit of a rude way when I've opened the door. Hello. Pregnant woman here. Thank you very much. That's going to help us no end, actually. Let's first get some water on the go, and then we can start to cook properly. In a weird way, I just kind of want to get everyone up to well-fed, because there's just so much sadness here. Um, let's do this with all three of it. There we go. Because I feel like I can now make six, which is definitely enough to bring everyone up to well-fed. Yeah, let's, let's go for that. We're making a lot of water. I then need to make... I can make plenty of fuel from that. We need three fuel. Yeah, this should be fine. Oh, today is going to be the day where we get ourselves all well-fed, very happy, and all that sort of stuff as well, which is good. You're not really tired, so you can come and help. You know what? You can actually make the fuel ready, right? If I go here, you can make... 
turn a lot of this into fuel, actually. We're in a situation where we need that. Which is good. Oh, wait. So, of course, grab that. That's that's new, um, I think. So, we are going to wait a little bit until we get a bit more. I'm going to wait until we get two more, because then I also want to put some more on this fire. Because I feel like that is important. No, no, no. You're keeping on working. That's something I feel has changed as well. They're very bold in just being like, no, we're going to stop now. And I'm like, excuse me? Excuse me, you do realise that, like, however many people are relying on you, yeah? Um, so we're making all of this. And it's also heat for yourself today. Seems a bit of a rogue one to be unhappy with. Which is good. We're cooking a lot. You should be back to just tired very soon. Nice. We're going to now turn this on a bit higher. It's not getting worse each day. Yesterday you were a lot, lot worse. Now you can head to bed for now. Actually, no, there's no point you heading to bed at all. Come up. We're about to eat our way to being very, very happy. And I'm hoping that Pavel... Pavel's now tired, so now's the good time to go and do this. We're all going to eat our way to being so, so happy. And then hopefully you'll be able to sleep and feel a bit better there. Good, five out of six. Which is good. And then we're going to go for the final one. Then we're all going to eat. We're all going to sleep. We're all going to be very, very happy with ourselves. I know your stomach's rumbling. We're all going to get ourselves back to where we should be. Good. And look at the amount of food we have. We're now out of meds, which is a little bit of a problem. But we are going to make sure people are feeling better. Which is good. Nice. Down you go. Now you can also go and eat. Which is very good. One. And again. Hoping this should stop people being sad is the main question. Being well fed is normally a sign of people things getting better. He's no longer sad because he's seen someone else well fed. Maybe this will also improve your mood. Seeing him become well fed gives us a boost for you, happiness maybe? He said optimistically. It doesn't seem to be the case, but we're doing alright. We're going to end the day there. We are going to... Um, you are going to need to scavenge. I feel like we're in a situation now. I could go to the Shelled Brewery or the Ruined Villa. These places I've not been to. Ah, we've got a trading on the table here. Maybe I could do this and find some stuff to trade, like this booze. Or four of these. Because I know that the other four were not actually used in some of this. Maybe I can do that and get materials that I need. Let's go there. Let's do this. The Ruined Villa is now our little way to get some extra materials, right? Because I just need some stuff, really. Uh, danger deserters are not very disciplined soldiers. Yeah, that makes sense. We're going to grab what we can, but we're going to keep moving and we're going to trade what we can as well. I'm hoping there is some good stuff here. Hello? Hello? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, okay. I thought there was trading on the table. I thought there was trading on the table. People moving? Run to the exit. Just get out of there. Get out of there. Was not expecting that. I thought, okay, thought trading was on the table. It was not that, and I got attacked, which isn't great. We're going to have to deal with that situation. But day 30, final day of this episode. That's going to be fun. Uh, yippee. How are people doing? We were raided, and she got a deep wound. She's just wounded, though. Okay, that's fine. You're slightly wounded, very tired, and okay. So you can guys can get up. You should go to bed. Uh, in terms of our things, we're doing all right, but we are going to need to head out. Um, you should now go and make the item that we were going to say we were going to make before. This thermoregulator. Because we do need to upgrade this at some point using it. I was about to say, I don't think we have one. No, we don't. We are out of bullets as well. That's... Maybe I should be paying attention to our bullet collection. Okay, the ruined villa is just full of bad people. So that's not a trading location. Um, the other one is the Shelled Brewery, and I think I know what happens at the Shelled Brewery, and I'm a bit nervous about it, to be honest. Kind of, I just want to check, actually, can I make a shovel here? I can't, I need one more wood. Ah! If I had the hatchet, I would do that straight away. I've got so much stuff, but I just need to, I need a shovel to, in order to do the Shelled Brewery, I think. Cause the only one I know of the Shelled Brewery is there is a, a setup there, which... You need to save someone, and you can only really save them if you've got the right equipment. <laughs> I've done all right with a couple of visits the last few days, which is nice. I was hoping to, they would replace it with other things, but I don't think that this mod pack has got that in it. <sighs> which is which is good, which just makes sense. This is a very, very detailed mod pack made from the modding package, I believe, which is genuinely impressive. 
Good, we're going to do this. Uh, we now are going to start doing a renewable thing with just using food to get food. But that's kind of by the by. Um, I need a few bits and pieces, but we're going to head up. Slightly sick. We need materials, really. You're probably sleeping the whole night through. Uh, wounded. I feel like we're doing all right. And it doesn't look as if we're going to get anyone today, are we? Looking at our things. Yeah, no. I think we're good. We think we're doing all right. I need just a little bit more things. But I'm going to wait another 10 minutes or 20 minutes. Now 10. See if anything turns up. No, nothing. End the day. Final night of this episode. We are going to go... We've got this small apartment building. Weapons and desperation to leave this place with something of value. Oh, okay. There are some people who live here. There is the Shell Brewery. There is the hotel. Which I kind of need to go to with stuff. The park is back. The park is back. Let's have a quick run through the park. There's no downside to running through the park. See what there's available. Good. Just quick, go for a quick jog, you know? Jog, jog through the park. Nice. But genuinely, this is a... A, a location that I went to very, very early and got the benefits of it. And now I can come back here and grab what else I need. Nice. Some wood. Good, that's the wood we needed. We do just need five parts, really. That's kind of the main thing we're after here. There could be some parts around and about. I'm not going to take that. Good, let's climb. Let's see what's in these piles and maybe through this door that I unlocked right on day one. Well, not day one, but very, very early on. Maybe episode one. Oh, take a bullet. We're out of bullets. Um, in here. Hopefully there's a load of good stuff in here that I just left and I can now grab. Some water is good. I'll take the herbs. I feel like those are ways of getting most of the stuff we need, which is good. I kind of want components as well. I could really do with just getting the parts. I'll take more bullets. Um, let's run across this path. It said tools. I'm not sure what that means. Are there more tools that I missed? Uh, oh, I'll take all of that. Yeah, good. Unless weapons count as tools and that's the ammo, but I don't think it would, really. That seems like a bold assertion if it did. Parts of stuff is probably relating to the medical parts. Come on, let's grab this. Good, let's do this. Very, very nice. Ah, lockpick. Yes, I remember leaving that there. That's probably what it meant by tools. Um, let's jump down here and have a look. I feel like we're gathering a decent amount of things. I now just kind of want to see if I can get any uh, parts anywhere here. I'll take that, actually. That's good. And I'll take one of those to sort out. If there are any parts, I'll replace the herbs with them. But it's good to have a few herbs. Because then if I ever get some proper alcohol, I can deal with it there. Which is good. Electronic parts. Some more wood. Yeah, I feel like I actually dropped that for some wood. There we go. Now we're getting 8 and 12, which is good. See what else is around here. Nothing really available. Um, there's a good some still some piles here that may have some stuff in. So might as well check them all. Ooh, ooh, that's what I'm after. I kind of want that, and I also want that. So that's all good. There's definitely stuff to come back here for. About to say, that booze is genuinely enough to get me another bandage, which I kind of need. Bullets is always nice in case we get raided again. We're climbing our way up here, which is good. Nice. I also am going to use a lot of the materials I've got to make fuel. There's a lot of stuff here. Another ammo. Let's see what's this... I'm hoping there's something here that's literally worthwhile. But otherwise, I think that's going to be it for today. Is there... Oh, there's some meds and some of this. I'll take that because that may be enough to get me a hatchet. And some food. This is the best. Let's go. Cool. Run to the exit. Very productive evening. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this episode or any episodes in this series, please like, subscribe, and all those lovely things down below. And I will see you next time. Ta-ra.